All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just got home from work, and what better time to do a compression test than right now? It's beautiful outside. Car's on operational temp, which is very important to get proper readings. And I'm just going to show you guys real quick what we need to remove. Battery's going to have to come out. Snorkel, entire intake. That's going to open up areas right here for us to work and uh, get this done. So without further ado, uh, here's a list of what we're going to need. Let's get started. So right here, you're going to use your 10 millimeter box wrench. Remove these here. Remove your cradle. Pull everything out. You're going to need to remove your snorkel. Use your flathead screwdriver to twist right there. And they'll pop up. Remove them. This will come right out. You'll also need your 10 millimeter deep well or your regular socket to remove these two. And there's one down in here that will need to need to be removed. Undo your MAF sensor. You'll undo the worm clamps and this whole intake will come out and it'll expose all your uh, area to work in here. As you can see here, we have more space to work. Now if you have the air pump, you'll notice that there's some threaded holes on the uh, cover here. That's where your tubing is going to be going through towards the back of the head. And it'll be blocking this right here. Now so that we have removed everything that we need in order to make uh, room, we have to figure out which cylinder is which. That way when we read, write down our readings, we know what cylinder it belongs to. So what we have is cylinder one is going to be on your left front. Cylinder two is going to be on your right front. Cylinder three is going to be on your left rear. And cylinder four will be on your right rear. Write these down and even make a diagram to help you out. For us to get access into the cylinder with our compression gauge, we have to remove the coil pack and then we have to remove the uh, spark plug. So in order to get in there, we have to remove this right here first. This is your, uh, your wiring harness connector. You're going to pull up on this and then push to the opposite end. And you'll repeat this on all the other coil packs. Move it out of the way. And then right here, you have a 12 millimeter bolt. You'll have to remove that and this will pop right out. This is your hose for your compression gauge. So what you're going to do is this end is going to go in towards the cylinder and it's going to screw in just like your spark plug would. And on this end, it's going to connect right into your compression tester.
Connect your compression tester. And now you're going to have to put the battery back in and also disable the fuel pump because we're going to have to crank the vehicle, but we don't want it to turn on. All right, so now we've placed our battery in here. We have to find a fuse that we have to pull uh, for the fuel pump to actually not kick on. So we're going to pull our fuse box cover off. We're going to orientate it to how this tells us to. Right here you can see that it says front. And once we get the reading, we see that this 15 amp fuse is for the fuel pump. So now that we've orientated, the, orientated it the correct way, we know that it's that fuse right there. So we pull our fuse puller, pull the fuse, just place it back in here, and crank the vehicle. Now that we're in the car, you want to get your car to the start position. And now you want it to try to crank on and have it go for about five to 10 seconds. Now that the compression test has been done, don't forget to put your fuse back in. That way your fuel pump will kick back on. And put everything back together. Biggest advice I can give all of you is be patient. The back two cylinders are a pain to get back there into, but it's doable. You just have to take a deep breath, See what you're doing. If you need more lighting, wear a headlamp or use a uh, light and you'll get it done. If it's your first time doing it, it's going to take you a little bit of time. Don't be disparaged. You, you can do this. It's really easy. Hey, but thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, like. If you guys want more content, go ahead and uh, comment and let me know what you guys would like to see. Thank you.